Okay folks, so I'm just going to show you how to make um, an A4 booklet with one sheet of paper. I'm saying A4, it could be A3 or A5 in fact. So the examples I've got here are made from one sheet of A4 and they open up to show images on each little page and at the back. Some different examples, this one's quite an abstract one. Okay, so you can use any sheet of paper. I've pre-printed some. You could also do this with just a blank sheet of paper and you'd have a series of images or little drawings, sketches, collage, cutouts from magazines, anything at all. It's an activity that anyone of any age can do very successfully and it's just up to your imagination after that really. So A4, I've also got an A3 example just to show you which is a slightly longer, um, sorry, slightly larger book and has some text on it. So the, the sequencing of this is quite important, with other images it might not be. If I open this up, it shows you what the A3 sheet would look like. Uh, the text and images facing one way, in one direction. The other half of the paper um, in the opposite direction, so that when it's folded up it will then read the right way. So that's quite important if you're using thing that's uh, images that aren't too abstract. Okay, so I've numbered this one as well, just to give you an idea that if you did want a sequence, if it's quite important, your numbers would start a little bit differently. So one, two, three, and then upside down, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So we're going to start just by folding. And if you fold it in half, uh, one edge to one edge, um, okay, that way, press down in the middle. You can use your fingers if you've got a bone folder that you use um, for any other activities, a piece of card, a credit card or, or plastic card, something like that. Give it a good crease. Take the one edge into the middle. Uh, same again, just make a nice firm crease there. Open that up. Take your other edge into the middle again. Nice firm crease again, open everything up and now we're going to do one final crease along the length. Okay, just smooth that off. Okay, the better you crease it, uh, the better it opens up and behaves as a little book. So what we need to do now is make an opening to allow us to open the book up. So there's several ways of doing this. You can use scissors or safety scissors if you need to and cut along this line just up to this intersection here. So just across there. You can tear it by hand, again just carefully down to these points. And the way I prefer to do it is to use a craft knife, safety ruler or metal ruler and just line that right along the centre and cut again to those two intersections there okay so while it's still flat pinch the middle parts and keep these two ends kind of down that way and that way and, and pull it up and then just walk your fingers into the middle okay now this is where you can see where i've numbered them to just help with if i had a sequence then that would fall into place quite nicely um, because paper sort of has a mind of its own a little bit, you just want to kind of give that another pressing down and get it to sit the way that you want. It will pull in a little bit because the paper's wrapping around the outer edge here. And if you use heavier paper, that will happen even more so. This is about 120 grams paper, but general photocopy paper of 80 to 100, 120 is absolutely fine. So there you go. Uh, a one sheet booklet.